Well, Somalia has, for the first time in 20 to 25 years, a credible leadership that has come about as a uh, result of a participatory process involving uh, broad strands of uh, Somali society, particularly led by the traditional elders. So the current government certainly represents uh, the will of the people. Uh, secondly, a very clear sign that the international community is uh, believing that the current strategy that has been launched by the president immediately after his inauguration uh, is a credible roadmap forward to a new, uh, new future for, for Somalia. What we have seen uh, about the government and, and the new parliament is a great eagerness to, first of all, take stock of the many, many problems that are there, to acknowledge those problems and then to work on them. So what is going to be key in the new situation is for the experience that can be brought in uh, from external sources to reinforce uh, the Somali effort to move forward uh, on, on many issues. Now, Parliament is a very concrete example uh, whereby uh, you have an entity that's going to lay the basis for a new Somalia in terms of constitution, a legal framework, uh, and also the, the oversight role plays vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, the new government. And this is where an entity like Aweka, with the experience it has and the standing it has, will play a very important role. And in direct discussions that we have had uh, with the Speaker of Parliament, he has expressed a lot of confidence in, uh, in Awepa as a very bona fide, legitimate support to the new Parliament. First of all, the international community has to recognize the opportunity that offers itself, which is the best chance in a very, very long time, two decades in fact. So, secondly, the international community needs to stay with this political process for a very significant period of time support this government that lacks all the means, it lacks all the capacity uh, to undertake the very important uh, tasks that are ahead of it, but that has the political will and the strategy to do it. So the resources need to be brought forward over a significant period of time. Uh, the international community does need to stick with it uh, and, and clearly needs to also protect the very fragile situation in terms of security sector that is uh, determining for the future of, of this country, so establishing the security environment in which all the political progress and the development uh, effort can be placed.